Well, hey there, folks. Look what I got in the mail today. Alright y'all, it is chicken wing night and this came just in time. This is the Kosori Pro LE 5 Quart Air Fryer. Kosori contacted me, said they would love to have me take a look at this and try it out. I know Kosori makes really great stuff because I see it all over YouTube all the time, but I've never actually tried any of it myself and I really have wanted to. So we're going to bust this thing open, we're going to do some chicken wings because honestly, there's nothing better than an air fryer for the best chicken wings in the world. So, let's bust this thing open, let's take a look at it, and let's see how this compares to the air fryer I normally use. All right, folks, there she is, is a beautiful piece of machinery, and it was very easy to get out of the box. Their packing job is fantastic on that, really well protected, but super easy to pull out. So we have a crisper tray, and the actual unit itself, and a little booklet here, which I would imagine is probably going to have not only some instructions and important information, but maybe even some recipes as well. We'll take a look at that in a minute. In the meantime, let's peel everything off and let's see what this thing looks like. Okay, this thing is really, really nice. It looks like it's gonna be easy to clean like it's really well made. And this is the first time I've had an air fryer that has the basket with the handle. You know, one of the things that people do with air fryers a lot is they do the whole shake in between thing. And if you don't have a basket like this that you can pull out, say of the Corsori, uh, you can't really do that. So I haven't been able to do that. So this may end up making my air fried chicken wings a lot easier to make. So I'm gonna get this thing wiped down. I'm gonna look over the instructions real quick. I'm gonna prep the chicken wings and I'm gonna show you guys how we do some air fryer chicken wings and we're gonna put this Kosori through its paces. So to start off with, I have about three and a half pounds of chicken wings here. I've just laid these out on a cookie sheet with some paper towel underneath of them to absorb that extra moisture. And I'm going to absorb the moisture from the top as well by patting them as dry as I can get them with a paper towel. Now you don't have to be super, super picky about this, but you do want to get that extra moisture off so you can kind of see they're not so wet. And then I'm gonna to use Tony Sachet's Creole. You can use whatever seasoning you want. I just really like this. I'm gonna put a thin sprinkling over the top and then I'm gonna to toss them around in that. Take those paper towels off and these go in the fridge uncovered to dry out for a couple of hours before we air fry them. Now let's take a look at the Kasori air fryer. So first things first, this thing looks absolutely beautiful and I've got it going through a preheat cycle right now. It preheats at 400 degrees for four minutes. Got three minutes left here. It gives you a good chance to look at all of the buttons, their functions on the top up there, your power, your preheat, a keep warm setting, a shake function, and the play button to start whatever it is you're working on. This thing is very sleek, it is very compact, and it's really nicely designed. All of these buttons on top of this are a touch screen. It's a glass top, it's very, easy to use. I think it's going to look fantastic in my kitchen. So right here's the control panel. You have power, preheat. That's what it's doing currently. For four minutes is where it starts. Keep warm, shake, and your start button there on the right hand side. And if you want to pull this basket out and shake it, you can press that shake button and that will tell it that's what you're going to do. There's also these pre-programmed things at the top, which is super cool. You have your temperature control and you have your time control over here. So you can adjust that for either your own way of air frying or you can use those presets and you can affect the time and the temperature of those as well. Now, if you want to take the basket out, you just push this little thumb release right here, which is really nice. So you can't accidentally pull the hot basket out. When you do, it shuts off. So we're gonna go ahead and preheat this again. It says that you should run through this cycle several times. 
While it is preheating the last time, I'm gonna pull the chicken wings out. And you can see there's a little bit of moisture coming out of them now. So I'm gonna pat them dry one more time gently. And then I'm gonna pull my basket out and I'm going to just lightly brush with lard or some kind of animal fat. You don't have to necessarily do this, it is non-stick but I think it's gonna work better. I'm gonna go ahead and line my chicken wings up in here. Now I'm gonna do these in two batches. Don't overload your air fryer. I'm gonna do these in two batches. So that's about half of them. That's gonna go in and we're just gonna slide that back in. It locks in place. We're gonna set this at 380 degrees and I'm gonna fry these for 24 minutes, but I'm gonna come back and shake the basket about every eight minutes. Now while it's frying, this is the best thing about an air fryer. I'm gonna get some hangout time with the dog. Eight minutes later, we come back and pull this out. You can see it's starting to cook. We just give them a quick shake. This is so convenient with this air fryer this way, guys. We stick it back in and it automatically restarts. Okay, so second time shaking, we press that shake button, pull it out, shake them. You can see they're starting to cook and get crispy. Once we're done shaking, they go back in. And again, it starts, it's got six minutes left, so we'll come back and check on them. Now this is the first cook. We're actually gonna double fry these, but this is what they look like after that first 24 minutes. They go into a bowl, we do the second batch of them. So we're gonna get the whole batch looking like this. Now once that's done, we put all of them back in for a final fry. So I've done two batches, we stick them back in. Now we're gonna set this at the max temperature, which is 450 for six minutes, and I'm gonna shake them after three minutes. So we start that, in three minutes we press shake, pull it out, we're gonna shake those around, just make sure they're frying nice and evenly, they've got all that chicken fat on them, they're frying in and getting crispy, they're looking absolutely beautiful, you can see they're bubbling and sizzling away, stick it back in, three more minutes at 450, and there's our completed chicken wings. This is my favorite way to do chicken wings with an air fryer. All we have to do is sauce them up, plate them up. You can do that however you want. And we are gonna enjoy some incredible chicken wings. All right, y'all, there are the wings from the Kosori Air Fryer. My wife is very excited over here. I am very excited. She loves chicken wings, but I have to say before we even taste them, these chicken wings were extremely easy to do. The Kosori Air Fryer is very quiet when it's running. We were literally standing here talking as I was finishing up the chicken wings, which we can't do when I air fry stuff in my other air fryer. So. It did a fantastic job. I love that you can take the basket out and shake it to get that really even cooking. It's a fantastic machine. It's gonna have a permanent home on my countertop and the other air fryer is probably gonna be put away and only pulled out if I have some special use for it that specifically it does. I have to say, because why Chris has been filming all this and clearly got to show you guys how he does everything, I just walked in the door. Chris makes chicken wings for me pretty regularly, I feel like. I mean, we eat them all the time. And you would do them in our old air fryer, which is a really nice one. The first thing I noticed when you put this plate in front of me though, with these made in the new air fryer, the cook on the outside seems like more even. But I literally looked at them and I'm like, wow, like look, like it's super even and they just look better. I mean, you guys saw when they came out of the air fryer before I did the final fry on them, you saw how brown they already were. Mm -hmm. That's the Kosori. That's what it's doing. I just visually already noticed a difference and I haven't even taken a bite. Yeah. So. Can I have one now? You can I'm have really one. Hungry. You can have I'm one. Really she's hungry. she's been at work all day. I, just I mean, well, eat. I've, I've been at work too, but she just got home from work. She's super hungry. Oh lord. Obviously they're good. How do they compare to like in our other air fryer? They're definitely cooked a lot better. It has like that crispy thing all the way around it. The inside, juicy. Every bite is even. These are probably the best chicken wings you've ever made. And I've eaten a lot of chicken wings made by this man over the years. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you season these with, but 10 out of 10. As you guys saw, I just did a little bit of almost like a, a small short-term kind of dry brine vibe in the refrigerator. 
You can season these however you want. But if you guys are interested, maybe I can show you how I do my buffalo sauce. I don't buy buffalo sauce. Don't, don't buy buffalo sauce, make your own, it's not hard. There's a bunch of great recipes out there, but if you wanna see mine specifically, comment buffalo sauce down below, let me know. And I'm gonna put all the links down below to the Kosori air fryer that I've got here. Thank you so much, Kosori, for sending that to me to try out. It is amazing and it is going to be used regularly in this household, especially if it can make my wife smile like this when yes. you eat chicken wings. I will be using that regularly. So here's another thing I just noticed. When you get down here to like, you know, the very bottom or like the very top, yeah. before it, the chicken would get very dry, not dry. I'm very even of, very even like very cooked. even cooking so it's it's because of the way the airflow is going on in there and the fact that i can shake the basket like that mm -hmm. it's just helping you fry it evenly so there you go guys the kosori honestly 10 out of 10 for me it cooks like these chicken wings i'm gonna say a thousand yeah yes Super yeah good. so i'm gonna put all the links down below go down there show kosori some love if you're in the market for an air fryer um, I'm not being paid to say any of this. They just they sent me the the air fryer and said, "Hey, please try this out." So it's I'm not I'm not being paid to say anything is great about it. That's not actually great about it. It legitimately is just a fantastic air fryer. I've seen some other YouTubers that I really respect their cooking. I've seen them using Kosori air fryers for a very long time. So I'm not really surprised. Uh, I'm gonna try one of these chicken wings because we're sitting here talking about them and I'm oh, getting yeah. hungry. Mm. It is definitely cooked more evenly. The skin, it, it starts crispy, it starts to soften a little bit anytime you put a sauce on it, but really good chicken skin still has a bit of a crispiness to it and it almost gets chewy yes. instead of getting gooey. Even if it softens after putting the sauce on this, which I sauced these and then had to take pictures and video and stuff, so they've been sitting for a little bit. Instead of being gooey, they are chewy and still crispy as well. They're fantastic. So it makes it just very like enjoyable. This tastes as good and actually better than any hot wing restaurant I have ever been to, where oh, they have definitely. big commercial air fryers and they have like you know secret sauces mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. This is this is better than any of those. Yeah. This is the best wing I've ever had for sure. I no, I hands down agree. With you. <clears throat> I'm not an air fryer expert or anything, but. I do eat a lot of chicken wings. She's and she's a chicken wing expert. I'm a chicken for sure. wing expert. I don't even cook. That's why I married this handsome guy. But um, <laughs> but no, like even just as someone who doesn't cook, I can definitely tell the quality difference in like mm -hmm. what we used to eat in the old air fryer or going out to a restaurant to eat. Especially being on keto, I feel like chicken wings is always kind of like a safe go-to, like mm -hmm. plain dry chicken wings. But um, yeah, these are amazing, and I'm gonna be a fat kid and just keep eating. So yeah, yeah, I definitely <clears throat> ten out of ten though. Well, there you go, guys. Kosori, you guys rock. I really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for another video because they actually sent me something else really special and I'm going to show you guys that too. But Kosori, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate you, you letting me test this out. And guys, I'm telling you, if you're in the mood for some amazing chicken wings, this is the way to do it. And if you don't have an air fryer to do it or if you need to upgrade your air fryer, Kosori are your people. Go, go show them some love and get yourself a Kosori air fryer because... This thing's amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen for watching the review video. As always, I love you guys. All of my links are gonna be down below in the description. I'm always here if you wanna reach out. I love you guys being here. I appreciate you watching. You mean the world to us. From Chris Cook in Nashville and Mrs. Chris Cook in Nashville, eat your meat, especially if they're chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Love your life, and we're gonna see you in the kitchen for the next recipe. Bye. No, I've cleaned many an air fryer in my day, especially being married to Chris. Uh, cleaned many kitchen utensils, and it was really easy, especially like with the nonstick. I mean, literally just a little hot water and soap, and uh, I, I mean, I don't even know. It took me probably, what, a minute? To, yeah. A minute and a half, maybe, to clean both. It was probably really so. easy. Really Great. easy. Two thumbs up.